Good morning. Thank you for staying with us on this Thursday, which is just one beat away from Friday. That makes me very happy. Okay. And we are joined by I24 News culture correspondent Shahar Pelet. Shahar, good morning good to morning, you. Good morning, Yael. Yes. <laughs> Happy as well. It's Happy Thursday. Happy as well. It's yes. Thursday. Woo-hoo. Totally relate yeah. to that. Well, it's autumn, actually. I don't know if you noticed since it's uh, 27 Celsius yeah, I know. outside. Yeah, the autumn in the Middle East. But right. um, open, uh, autumn opens the uh, official uh, culture and contemporary art season in Jerusalem. So uh, we followed one of the exhibitions that's now in the streets. It's called Black Box, as part of the entire project. Let's see first a few minutes of it. Take a look. The Jerusalem art scene is taking to the streets, presenting 80 artworks where advertisement and campaign posters usually hang. Usually they put commercial on it and uh, the idea this year of the project is to do a break of commercials. The project marks the opening of Manofim, which translates as cranes, the exhibition season in Jerusalem. Placing these works in public areas invites the viewer to embark on a journey where art leaves the protected museum space and enters the bare street. The main idea of the exhibition is that people that not uh, usually uh, see art and like go to museum. This is like for all people, but the people that walk around in the city and they, they live in the city and every morning they do the same routes. The exhibition starts at the entrance to Jerusalem with a local inside joke, a man dipping in the sea, reflecting the one thing Israel's largest city lacks. The artwork welcomes those who come to the city blending in the bulletin boards alongside ads for a music festival and an election campaign. Every photograph is placed in an intended location, decided after a great deal of thought. The showcase presents new developments in photography and takes the professional art of the white cube, the art gallery, out of the box. So if you're in town, look out for the giant outdoor gallery, standing firm against the challenges of the street, refusing to let man or the elements get in its way. Shachar, fascinating stuff, because Jerusalem is, you know, it's a city, how should I put this? Um, well, let, let me start by this. How, what is the reaction of Jerusalem? Yes. Okay, yeah. wonderful question. Well, <laughs> Jerusalem, Jerusalem is trying really hard to connect its, uh, Jer- the Jerusalemites and the visitors to right. its local art scene. Um, however, we found that most people just pass by these, um, these bulletin boards, um, not really paying attention to the artworks and oh. the images on them. Yeah. And most people we asked actually haven't even noticed that something's <laughs> changed. So um, this is something that, uh, well, there's nothing really that you can do yeah, because right. we talked to the curators and the creators about this and they said this is something that we're trying to uh, attract more attention to but this is uh, one of the reactions others uh, found it more provocative and disturbing even some of the images and um, they tore it down so we we tried to visit some of the yeah. bulletin boards and there was nothing on them um, one of them for example had a piece of wood on it saying god is coming soon Ooh. so we're guessing that more religious uh, uh, radical, radical religious yeah. groups uh, found orthodox, this uh, disturbing, yeah. ultra-orthodox in Jerusalem. Uh, we actually followed Ohad Matalon, one of the artists there, and this was one of his pieces. Another piece uh, of his was also torn down. This one uh, was uh, depicting this sort of uh, anti-Zionist uh, demonstration in the West Bank, something which also, I guess, disturbed uh, some of the Several people. Several people in Jerusalem. And um, this was uh, torn, uh, torn up as well. The creators, however, find this uh, quite a... Uh, um, they weren't surprised. They, they were they were, that is, I mean, that's an interesting point. Well, I mean, this, was, did the, was something done in advance of picking the art? This um, is something they take into consideration once it's in the streets, and they see it as a, as a response, as a reaction of the street, as a sort of a dialogue, because it's torn, uh, torn down, but this um, same image is put back once again this, uh, the next night or the right. same night. So this is sort of a back and forth with the residents of Jerusalem or the visitors. And uh, we talked to Ahad Matalon, the artist himself, and he said, a reaction is a reaction. And I um, and as, as, an, it. as an artist would say, you know, if, yes. if it raises some sort of a reaction, but still it's tearing it down. Yes, he's, a, he's an artist that shows his works in museums and in galleries as well as the streets. So once it's in the streets, he knows that there's going to be graffiti on it or uh, some might tear it down. He was actually quite disappointed 
disappointed that he didn't get the chance to see it in, uh, himself. Or to see it destroyed himself? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, no, see it uh, oh, hang I'm himself. Hanging when, when, yes, when we came there, it was uh, absent But you know, when, you, when you said that some considerations were made in advance of, you know, picking the art that, you know, there were, were the things that didn't make it, and what were those considerations? Well, first of all, the location of each piece where it would be put, um, we saw that, uh, for example, the uh, Isawia, which is a village, uh, um, a part of Jerusalem in East Jerusalem, which is uh, less developed, um, they put that image uh, in the center of Jerusalem, in King George Street, the central uh, street of Jerusalem, um, trying to uh, say something. This is a statement for the municipality, for the government, saying that right. this is a place that you should notice. So many of the locations, or for example, there was an image of the, uh, they called it the suffering artist, of uh, um, sort of this uh, yeah, uh, artist suffocating inside a bag. This was uh, outside the Art Institute, the Academic uh, for Art in, in Jerusalem, the Adassa Academy right. for Arts. Um, so they tried to locate the certain uh, images next to uh, certain places. But once again, this is an exhibition that is part of uh, Menofim, um, cranes in English. Right. That's the entire project, the entire contemporary what art is season. The crane uh, cranes project. as in. Uh, um, no, no, but what's the project? Yes, yeah. but uh, it's important to say it's cranes as in uh, construction sites and not, not the in... birds, um, as in building things from scratch. Right. And the entire project is to put, uh, put art out to the street, bring the art to the public, um, as opposed to uh, usually when you want to see art, you go inside the, the white cube, the gallery, the museum. Right. So this is taking it out of the box, taking it to the black box, to the streets. So this is, once again, sort of, a, of an attempt and effort of uh, Jerusalem. This is actually a local um, independent initiative um, together with Does the municipality. Does it emulate any, any other cities in the world? Has well, this been done? No, right now this is only in Jerusalem. There are many cities in the world, you know, festivals of art are all over the place. But I think this one is very special because um, in addition to black box, there's uh, another 30 exhibitions uh, open simultaneously with uh, free shuttles uh, taking people from one gallery to the the other and in the shuttles themselves there's entertainment with um, traveling theaters and uh, raps and poetry reading wow. this is sort of a, um, it's a happening as, as a happening uh, a festival of, of culture and art in Jerusalem which uh, takes place in other cities you know differently but yeah. um, I mean, this it sounds is very much like a Tel Aviv thing I have to yes, say yes I actually thought about it as well Jerusalem trying maybe to become uh, the more culture center of Israel um, in sort good of luck. a contest yes with uh, Tel Aviv <laughs> good luck with that um, just uh, a few more of yeah, the nice. uh, exhibitions that are there. There's the uh, Zeke group, which actually, uh, it's a group of uh, uh, sculptures and uh, modelists um, that took a live creation inside, uh, in the streets of Jerusalem. So they, they created live a, stu a statue um, with live audience uh, looking at the creation as it goes. Um, and actually there's, there was a hotel taking uh, part in the exhibition Doing as well. Work. Room 325 of the Notre Dame Guest House, which is usually... <laughs> okay. uh, a visiting center for pilgrims with an amazing view yeah, of Jerusalem. Right. Um, if you uh, stepped in room 325 this week, you would have seen uh, art performances and um, uh, sort of uh, art artistic objects uh, presented there as as in a museum. Any specific reason why room 325? <laughs> no, they chose it because of the view. It's because a wonderful view, view okay, from it. And oh, you can stop my dirty to the, mind to the racing, terrace from there. <laughs> OK. Shachal <laughs> Felid. Well, what are you laughing? <laughs> was, was I laughing? No. Yeah, me no. never. Okay. I'm used to it, but. Uh, <laughs> Anyone said something funny? <laughs> nice one. <laughs>